Hello guys, so in this video I will show you how you can use your mouse to control the, the yoke in Flight Simulator, okay? So this is a script I made recently for a friend and, and well I decided to, to make it public, okay? So let's go ahead and see how is the installation process. Okay guys, so the first thing we have to do is to go to the Python website and install the latest version, okay? So click here in the button that says download Python um, and open the file. Okay, so here um, mark this option here, add Python to the path, okay, and click on install. So now um, go here to the to the website that I I will leave in the description. Uh, this is the website for the mod. Um, just go here and click on download. Okay. Okay. So this will be the latest version of the script. Okay. So uh, move this folder uh, to wherever you you have it handy. Okay, so in my case, I will move it to the desktop and open the folder. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a couple of files. Um, go to the run.bat, so uh, run this file right here. The first time you run it, it will take some time because uh, it will be installing some... Um, some dependencies so as you can see here there is the virtual gamepad um, I already have it so I will cancel the installation but um, in your case just click next until it's finished okay now here is trying to, to install everything and you can see here um, there is the script okay Okay guys, so now that we have everything we need, go here to the run um, window. This this one you can open by pressing Windows plus R, okay? And type joy.cpl, okay? And run that command. And now uh, open your, your script. As you can see here, a new controller pops up. Open that one. And we have to calibrate this one, okay? So go to the settings, calibrate, next, and now enable the the, the script, okay? Uh, when you enable it, you can see that it goes to the center of the screen, okay? So um, type next, move the uh, the axis. To, to every corner of the screen, okay? So it detects and type next. Leave the path centered again, so you can do that by activating again the, the, the script. Next. The C axis we, we won't be using, so just type next. The X rotation will be your throttle, okay? So move your throttle to the max and to the minimum, okay? So it detects. And we finished. Okay, so now we have it calibrated. Okay, guys, so now that we are in the game, go to the settings uh, to controls. Okay, and create a new profile. So don't use the default one because um, when you're flying, uh, you will start bagging it out and stuff like that, okay? So create a new profile here, new, new profile, okay? And basically you want to search for your ailerons, activity, okay, so horizontal will be ailerons, you throttle, 
your turtle, okay? And lastly, your elevators. Okay, elevator axis. Um, there we go, okay. And uh, now, go here to the sensitivity tab and leave everything to zero, okay? So you don't want to have any, any filters here. So dead zone zero, neutral zero, extremity zero, and the reactivity leave it to the to a hundred percent. Okay, that way it doesn't have any delays when you're um, when you're moving your mouse. Okay, dead zone zero, reactivity a hundred, and here is the throttle. So same thing, um, dead zone zero, reactivity a hundred. So there you have it guys, um, this is the end of the video, um, pretty much everything should be uh, all working by now. Um, so anyways guys, if you liked the video, leave, leave a thumbs up and comment below if you, if you want to, to see some changes or, or wherever you feel. So, so yeah, uh, see you guys later.